Hey guys, did you know we recently had a history setting event that will rewrite the history books? Well, the Guinness Book of World Records at least. That's right, we have an amazing new world record. For the first time ever in human history, a paper plane has been flown over 280 feet. It actually went 289 feet 9 inches. And this new record is so dominant, it actually destroyed the standing record by over 36 feet. Just to get you warmed up, here's the previous record of 77 meters or 252 feet 7 inches done in South Korea back in April of 2022. This is their amazing throw. Notice how the throw gives the airplane plenty of height and then as the paper plane heads back towards Earth, it picks up enough speed that the wings regain enough lift to help the airplane glide the final third of its flight to an epic landing. It's beautiful! And this was the previous record that the South Koreans broke. This is a plane designed by John Collins and thrown by a former college quarterback named Joe Ayub. Now that's a good idea. If you need somebody with a strong arm to launch your paper airplane, hey, find a former Division I college quarterback to help you out. Simple. Anyhow, their plane flew 69.14 meters or 226 feet 10 inches. And notice how it too spends a large portion of its flight gliding aerodynamically on its wings before coming to a gentle landing. Beautiful, and just like a plane should, right? Now, the new record, set by three Boeing engineers, uses a very different design. Dylan Rubble, Nathaniel Erickson, and Garrett Jensen all studied aerospace and mechanical engineering together and came up with a plane design that mimics hypersonic aircraft, which can fly four or five times the speed of sound. In fact, they named their plane design the Mach 5. The key thing about hypersonic vehicles is they don't need big wings to generate lots of lift. Instead, they use incredibly powerful engines and aerodynamically slippery bodies to punch the planes through the air at great speed. And here's the paper airplane they came up with. It actually looks like a pretty intricate plane design, and it must have been because it actually took them 20 minutes to fold the record-breaking plane out of a single sheet of 8.5 by 11 inch paper. There are lots of folds in it to make the plane pretty small. And they also use the heaviest, thickest paper that the Guinness Book of World Records allows, so it appears the thinking is to concentrate as much mass as possible into the smallest, most aerodynamic shape possible to help the plane cut through the air with minimal drag. Wings and aerodynamic lift definitely aren't a priority here like we saw in the previous record holders. Instead, the three-person team created a plane, and I'm saying that loosely now, that functions more like a dart. In fact, in their record-breaking throw, the plane didn't even have a glide phase like the South Korean plane. The tiny Mach 5 made its distance almost entirely on the arm strength of Dylan Rubble, who threw the plane. And unfortunately, I really don't have any good video of the attempt to show you. The plane is just so small and flew so fast without a glide stage that it really is hard to see on camera. Still, a record is a record, and we definitely respect their ingenuity in coming up with an airplane design that was able to travel an incredible 88.31 meters or 289 feet 9 inches. By the way, that's almost as far as the Statue of Liberty is tall at 305 feet. That really puts things into perspective. So, congratulations Dylan, Nathan, and Garrett. World records are pretty tough to come by, and it looks like yours may just stand for a very long time. Happy flying!